Welcome back to another Is It Keto Friendly? So today's product is going to be the Quest Protein Bar. Now this variety is the chocolate chip cookie dough and everybody's looking for substitutes on a ketogenic diet and I mean the protein bar is a snack that a lot of people gravitate towards. So the Quest brand actually has a lot of these products so I thought it'd be a good chance to try this protein bar. Anyway, let's get the baseline for today's experiment. Now, this morning I've had a fasted gym training session, and that was about two hours ago. So it'll be interesting to see what the blood sugar and blood ketones are at. So firstly, we've got the blood sugar at 4.1 millivolt, so quite standard for me. And secondly, we've got the blood ketones at 0.9 millimole. So a great place to start this experiment today. So the Quest Protein Bar, let's open it up and just take a look. So it's a 60 gram bar, and for today's experiment, I'm going to eat the whole bar. And as you can see there, it's quite a dense looking bar. It's um, a cookie dough, so it definitely has that cookie dough consistency. Let's have a little bite. So straight away, it definitely tastes cookie dough. It's quite sweet. It does have a little bit of an aftertaste, but you can definitely taste those chocolate chips. And overall, I'd say it's quite pleasant. Now, let's take a look at the nutritional breakdown for this bar. Like I said, the 60 gram bar, we've got 202 calories, 21 grams of protein, 8 grams of fat, 4 grams of carbohydrates, with 3 of those grams being in the form of sugar alcohol, and then 14 grams of dietary fibre. So straight away, that dietary fibre being so high in an attempt to lower the total carb count is a bit of a red flag for me, but like I said, this is just an experiment, so let's have some more. Now, before I finish it off, let's take a look at the ingredient profile. We've got protein blend, whey protein, milk protein, prebiotic fiber, chocolate flavored chunks, chocolate liqueur, whey protein, sweeteners, cocoa butter, sodium cassinate, emulsifier, flavor enhancer, almonds, water, natural flavors, sweeteners, and flavor enhancer. So straight away there, there's quite a few ingredients and a lot of sweeteners. So as far as the ingredient profile goes, it's not as clean as I would normally like, but it is what it is. One other thing that I should mention, one of the labels on this bar, not suitable for children under 15 years of age or pregnant women, should only be used under medical or dietetic supervision. So once again, that's a bit of a red flag, but I mean, it is what it is. Let me finish it off. So there you have it. The 60 gram Quest Protein Bar down the hatch. It's about 11.30. I'll wait two hours and come back and test my blood sugar and blood ketones again. I'll see you in two hours. Welcome back. So it's been just on two hours since I ate the Quest Protein Bar. Now, in that last two hour time period, I've been relaxing, I've been editing this video, and I haven't been doing anything strenuous. So it'll be interesting to see what the blood sugar and blood ketone levels have done. So firstly, we've got the blood sugar, interestingly, down from 4.1 millimole to 3.9 millimole. So a slight fluctuation there. And secondly, we've got the blood ketones also down from 0.9 millimole to 0.7 millimole. So a slight fluctuation there. So there you have it. For me, on today's activity levels, it seems that the Quest Protein Bar, the chocolate chip cookie dough, is in fact ketogenic. 
But like I always say, you need to test these products on yourself because everybody is different and everybody does react differently. But anyway guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.